All right, guys, welcome back to Beacon by Dust P Two K. When we um, left this yesterday, we'd come up with the solution that we need a cube there, and we need a cube there, and we need to stand on here, and we need to fire a laser to there, a portal there, a portal there, and that will open up this area here. So today's starting conundrum is how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? I don't know, but surely it's got to start by getting us a cube, right? So that respawns with that, so I'm just trying to think of different bits and pieces we can do here. Alright, let's head on over to here. So, right, how are we going to go here? Could respawn that cube. If we respawn this cube, we can pull it across to there. This cube is facing that direction though, so it's not orient oriented correctly to do that. Um, what else can we do? I don't even know if we need a cube swap. No way to place a cube on there via a funnel. That prevents anything from happening there. There is nothing to shoot from over here. Oh, thanks to the hydrate buffers. Yeah. Bots were out in force yesterday, Meek, for sure. So from here, first question, is it possible to respawn the red cube and respawn the red cube, hold on. Okay. 
That's a thing we could do. But hold on, why am I doing this? There's a much easier solution there, and that is to leave the cube over on that side. Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm looking for a problem. So we'll move that. Then we'll go over to here. And we can place our cube here. Yes, and then we can respawn the blue cube using that. Okay, things are happening. Things, well, things are gonna happen. At least. Do that. Come back over to here. Portal over here. an evil village. I'm yet to have a look at that game. Okay, so then that's going to come up there and it will cause this cube to respawn. Okay. Now, this cube go over to here and point to there. Make a save. Portal there. Portal there. And we say stupid cube. Alright, pull it back a little bit. Really check out Resident Evil Village love the Resident Evil games, but I'm still on the fence about, like, the first person aspect of the Resident Evil games. Seriously? Still not there? Bad, bad cube. Right, I, I gotta see where this freaking cube is, like, hitting here. How can I be... Oh, wow, it's, like, massively off. Right, well, let's imagine... ...that the cube was being a good cube. Okay, so we do this. Now we can shoot our... ...water to there, pick up this cube... Then what? Because in an ideal world... Oh. In an ideal world... Now we would want to respawn... Red? No worries, Maker. No worries at all. Do we need that cube there now anymore, though? I honestly thought we would need to go into here. So I'm a little bit... A little bit miffed and a little bit confused. As to why that's not the case. 
What have I missed? There isn't an angle here, is there? Mm, no. I wonder if there was like an angle to go through the portal there. So we can do three things here. We can point the cube and point the cube at the cube. Which does nothing. We can point the cube at there, which opens that, but ultimately does nothing. We can respawn the red cube, which ultimately does nothing. You see a pattern immersion here? Do you see the pattern? Oh, wait a second, though. That does something. Okay. Then I can do what? that. I guess I want to do that though. So then I can bring a cube into this section. Now what do I want to do? a cube over there I could do that I almost wonder though if now what I want to do is force a respawn on the red cube would I force a respawn on the red cube? I know how I would force a respawn on the red cube. In a very clever way. Uh, actually, no, it wouldn't be a clever way. these cubes were the other way around, what I could have done was I could have done this into the catcher because what this will do here this will cause the blue cube to respawn, not the red cube is that a bad thing though? So here, look. I do that. But then what's going to happen is that's going to intersect that cube. It's going to cause that to re... what it would if it was straight. 
cause that to respawn. Cube's got a sock in his head, as LB would say. So something else I could do. Go on, Rector. Something else I could do then would be... Okay. I could do this. This would respawn the cube. And then I could do that, that. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so now I have this. I can take... Blame Gary. Okay. So now we have this and this. So I could now go over here if I wanted. Don't know if I want the cube. Well, going across here clears my portals. So, probably not the best. Probably not the best. I want to get through there with a... Okay, we want to get through here, through that bit there, with a portal, I would assume. See, I'd do this. So now we would turn this cube here, face it that direction there, and then I would do portal there, portal there, take the cube, and black portal. Oh, uh, why? Why did you have to be recessed? Yeah, that's what I thought. So I thought I was going to like put the portals here where I got them, then switch my black portal up to there, which would then undo this, because clearly I need a cube on here to be able to pass through here. So... Yep, yeah, okay. Well...
Plan B? Uh, I think we're past plan B, uh, Atom, if I'm honest. Okay. This is something a little bit different. I think it's time for plan panic. Time for plan pan. Okay, what if I don't need to keep that portal on that in that side there? So, so what if I go through here, shoot that, and move this pause cube over here like this? Maybe I only need this as a way through. It's like a thoroughfare. Now the problem being here is the minute I drop that down... Okay, maybe not a big issue. Maybe not a big issue. I guess it respawns the cube, but we can just pick one up like this. Okay. I'm going to take that as progress. Okay. What does that button do then? So we're through two. And on mic. Moik. Is that a thing? Okay, well. Exit condition now I can quite clearly see. Cube on there. Cube on there. Um, portal there. Portal down there. And then laser. Actually, no, I don't even need to do that, do I? I don't need the portals because of that one there. So, exit condition will be a portal there and a portal there for the time being then uh, cube on there cube on there hit the button go through power this cube fire across there that one will hit that catcher there 
Although having said that, it's not quite as clear cut as that, is it? Um, yes, no, it will be. That'll give me the panel that activates that. Yes, I think that will do it. I think that will do it. I think what I need to do though is I need to go through there with the portal on there. And then go through to that one, repress the button possibly. I don't know if that's enough time to get from there to there on that portal. Anyway, we're jumping massively ahead. This is step number four over here. We don't need step four. We need step three. So step three is going to involve opening this fizzler. Now we also need to think about how we can make our way back to the other side. So I think we're going to do more or less the same thing we did originally with a cube on here. Laser coming through there though this time. And that pointing over to there. So if I do this for now. And this. We could get the funnel here by opening that end fizzler. I don't know if I. St to me, it seems like I still need a portal on the behind the first area. Seems like to me. Mistake I've made, Atom. I'm not sure I can do anything if I don't have a portal on the other side. I can put a portal on here, which we can do. So let's do this a minute. But like from here, I don't feel like I can achieve a lot. Put a hole in the floor. <laughs> I'm looking at you, P2K. I need to go back a few steps, I think. I need to 
I need to undo some stuff. Think about this again. If I can't... Can't do this. Alright, let's let's go back a minute. Let's reset uh, a couple of bits and pieces here. This and this. And we had a portal there, and we had a portal in here. Okay, so we had this, everybody happy with this is we had this set up here. Because then I did that, um, that to respawn the cube. So this is the state that we've been in before. Now do I need to respawn the cube here? Swap the cubes and respawn them. This one is easily respawnable. From here I went here. I wanted to go there, but if I go there, that's going to cause that to respawn. Is that a big deal? Initially, no. Okay, I could do this. Then I could go through. Okay, block the laser. Go through here. Pick this laser from here. Set everything again. The cube does not pass go, does not collect fifty pounds. Uh, sorry, two hundred pounds. Christ. I know we're living difficult times and all, but... Alright. Save here. Congrats, Mika. I don't think there's a way... Cubes that I want to do.
I can do this, and I can take that cube, but it gets lost, doesn't it? I do feel, though, that I need to get across here. From this side here. What if I use the other portal surface where there's that other laser? So what if I did instead? What if I did this? That gives me that and that. What can I do from here? Because this is all clearly marked off that I'm not supposed to use it. So. If I did that. Maybe I need to keep, I think I need to keep though, the, I need to keep the laser on red as long as I can. I think it's going to be possible though. Because the minute I move this, bad things happen. Right? Wrong. Is keeping red alive an issue, though? Okay, what if we did this instead, then? Always that pesky red cube, man. Always the pesky red cube. Then... There we go. That's better. That's much better. Okay. That's what I wanted to achieve. So from here, what I can now do is think I should be able to do this. Everything's still being powered at this point. Okay. Now I can swap my portal to here. 
which this is the point where everything gets killed off, I think. Right? That's fine. That's fine at the minute. Because now what we have is the ability to What's this going to do when it does this? So I can go back up to the top and it's also going to open this fizzler here. Okay. This should be this. Okay. I think I'm nearly there. I think I'm tantalizingly close. So the mistake I made there was I wasn't paying attention. What have I just done here? Oh boy, we didn't save. Oh, that's it. So what I didn't do there was I didn't pay attention to where the blue, what the blue cube was doing. So the blue cube is going to get pushed over here. When it's over this button here. It's at that point we need to then get rid of the funnel, I believe. Alright, so um, we want... I want to go there. Okay. Now I can go back down. I can pick this cube up. Now this is where the fun begins. That's why these extra little bits are here actually. That's quite handy. Quite handy to have these bits here. So that one does that to there. Now we're going to take the blue cube. And we'll do this. Now we can position this to here. Now this is this is scary. It's massively massively in the wrong direction. I will say it's not particularly easy. Go away, please. Um, it's not particularly easy to see where I'm aiming. Especially my work phone. <laughs> my VoIP phone. Okay. This is the, the yikes moment. Not sure whether I like this or not. I also wonder, maybe, uh, maybe I should be using, okay, I think I'm going about this a very silly way, jock horror, I know, but what if instead 
I did... No, I can't do it like that. So no, I'm not going about it in a silly way at all. Hmm. I thought I could maybe open up... This ending, man. This ending's a bit. Yeah, I've not even got enough time to go to there. Which is a little yikes. I need to bootstrap that panel somehow. more to it than I thought. I thought I was there, but no, I'm not. Turns out I'm not. What's going on, Sam? Yeah, we've um, made some relatively good progress, to be fair. And I thought we was about done. But... Now in a yikes moment. See, what I thought I thought I was maybe overcomplicating by the fact that I was overcomplicating because of the fact that blankety blank. I don't even see how the timing works out for the. I don't see another way at the minute to do the ending maneuver though. You've got to press this button here, which is on a timer. But in doing that, there has to be something else. There's no other way to hit these cubes without using this, which is on a timer. So that kind of implies that we need to have portals in position, right? like save like loads of times but I'm now wondering <sighs> what can I see from over here so I can't see the laser catcher
So... Problem is now is that I don't see a way to sort of reset anything without do a lot of resetting. I was the incision. All right. Well, I can easily reset though. I was thinking I, I could, I don't think I can reset, but I can easily reset by doing this. Um, this cube was down here like that. And then we had this here, didn't we? So that's, that's where we were when we was up here. So at the point of getting the cubes over to here, this is what we had. Let's resave here for a moment. I think. You gotta think. Think about what you wanna do. All right. So thought process number one: Can I shoot the laser onto the portal surface and redirect the laser? So, if I was from up here, I could shoot a portal on that surface. Portal on that surface whilst... Well, that's not going to work because we need the font to hold that. So let's just get rid of that idea straight away. That's not going to work. Um, I feel... I'm, I'm thinking we need to have... Okay, so that's all well and good. However, no, I can still get down there. I can still get down there at the moment. So, from here, what can this cube see? Is that an intended angle? to say, but I would guess not. Dunno. Feels dodge, man. like everything has to be out for this pole here. Okay, so now I'm here. Now I'm here. Think very carefully about your next move, Nock. 
very, very carefully. Have to be here, right? From here, I would then do this to here. Drop down, go through. Okay. Button press first. So then we do button press portal exit. Button press portal exit. Boom. That was yet another fantastic map. Oh, didn't take me as long as the last one, but um, yeah, just I, I see a lot of similarities with Dust P2K and yourself, Atom. I have to say that um, you have to really think about portal management, and as long as you can get that portal management like down in your head, then you're in a in a good position. Just thinking about that that one move ahead, right? I've got this set up. If I move this portal, what's going to happen and how can I proceed? And there just seems to be like a, a way at the moment that I'm able to sort of get on top of um, some of these more difficult puzzles that would normally take us quite a bit longer. But I'm pretty pleased with that. That was a good solve, I think. A good solve indeed. Probably about, what, an hour and 20 minutes in total of yesterday's playthrough as well. So, yeah. Awesome stuff. Guys, that is going to bring us to the end for today, though. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be back again tonight for some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Tomorrow for some Portal Community Chambers in the normal lunchtime stream at 1.30 p.m. BST. Say hi if you're around. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging with me today, guys. I really appreciate your support, as always. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy gaming.